Okay, so this is a little quick review on the Season 2 Sailor Moon Special Edition DVD. Um, I gotta say, it's a really pretty box, just like the ones that the Japanese released. Um, and I like the little extra stuff, which, I mean, if you ask me, they should have just glued it onto it. But anyway. Uh, the box itself, it's real pretty, you know. We got the la the 13, I, I guess the 13 box of the season from the Japanese collection as the cover of the Blu-ray. And you get your little, you know, hold on. Let's shoot it. So you get, you know, your little DVDs here. So uh, the first two, I think they're the DVDs. And then these are the Blu-ray. So you get your DVDs here, you know. And these are the Blu-rays over here, so. But anyway, I watched them all. And I gotta say, they're real, it's real crisp, it's real pretty. And um, before I go on, you know, you get your little booklet, you know, with a bunch of little pictures and stuff, you know. I'm just gonna flip through some, you know. You get a little artwork with, and some interviews with the people that voice the English version, which I'm not very happy with, so. Um, and then you get the little ones right here, like, uh, the cover pieces of the Japanese DVDs and little flashcards, which I'm not gonna open because I like my shit sealed, you know? But you can, um, buy, go to Amazon and look at them, like, you know, separate, but... Anyway, let me get straight to the point. <clears throat> I'm very happy with this thing, but in comparison to the first one which is season one, which has the same pretty shit and everything. I noticed that they fixed some of the some of the stuff in there, but on this one, I was very disappointed. So in season one, there's this one part where Sailor Moon has her moon stick into a big, into the big, um, what do you call it? The big wand when she's defeating um, Metallia. That, that that bad uh, smug looking thing so and she does the moon healing escalation with her um you know with the moon in the background you know with holding that shit and the you know holding that shit or something but so that's that's a frame for that season but i don't know if you recall if you watch the hulu or the crunchy version oh i don't know if it's on crunchy or in this media in Valley in Neon Valley or something like that. Well, I don't know. When they first aired, they did that mistake of using that same frame and they put the Princess Halation thing over it using the moon stick instead of the princess rod. So my concern is is that they tweak some stuff on the first on the first Blu-ray, but how come they didn't tweak anything on this one? Like I would have been okay if they like messed up something very tiny, but this is a whole frame of her doing the what is it, Princess Halation shit. Like you see that, and it like irked me the first time, and it irks me seeing it on this the, on this one, cause I bought it thinking that okay, you know they fixed stuff on this one, but you know I get to see this and I see that I'm like no, like this shit runs for sixty bucks, so for sixty bucks, and it's been two years now, so y'all have plenty of time to fix that shit, like come back to it and fix that shit just like you did with the first one, but it's like what the fuck. It's like a whole frame. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna, like, post some, post a link to something. But it's, like, very clear. Like, trust me, it's gonna irk you. Like, I guess it's on season, I mean, on episode four or five. I don't know which one. But, yes, I am very disappointed. Like, if I were to rate it, I would get... I mean, I love the box. I love the presentation. Like, trust me, that whole ordeal gets like a 10 out of 10 but because of that it gets a 1 out of 10 like no mm -mm. I as a Sailor Moon fan you know I would have liked you know for them to have fixed that because it looks real pretty I mean they made this whole thing like if they're kind of compensating you know with the box and everything to look all pretty and stuff and then they're thinking like oh you know maybe we forgot to tweak that so they won't notice because we made the box all pretty no 
people will notice. Like, as fans will notice. Like, from the beginning, I wanted that shit fixed. And on this, it's not fixed. So, I'm like, what's gonna happen? Like, are you gonna have a second release? And you're still gonna have that unedited? No. I'm sorry, Viz Media, or whoever's in charge of editing this crap. But y'all needed to keep to get your shit together and have fixed that by now because you had so many releases of DVDs, Blu-rays. So by this, I mean I'm sure this is a final a release of these DVDs. So as a final, y'all should have like everything crisp, like everything set. But no. So no. I'm sorry, but no. As a critic, y'all suck. So. Thank you for listening. And I mean, I'm not saying don't buy it. It's a great for it's great for the collection. It looks real pretty. But you know, you just gotta be disappointed as I am. And I mean, I'm hoping for the third for the season three release as well. Like on the Hulu and Neon Valley or the those other websites that show it, that doesn't need anything because it came out right just the first time. So, I'm hoping that the presentation is as pretty as these two, and I know they won't disappoint with the actual thing, like the episodes and stuff. But with this, I mean, season two, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I'm just very, very sorry. I'm very disappointed on you guys. Like, no. Don't. But, yeah. That was my quick review. I hope y'all that was helpful. So take in consideration that that if you do buy it or if you watch it, it's kind of like rewatching it back on Hulu or whatever you guys watched it on. So trust me, that one frame is gonna fuck everything for you. So thank you. Bye.